What's up everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO tutorial and in this special video I'm going to be teaching you how you can make this LEGO iPhone. And I tried my best to make this look like an actual iPhone. So if this doesn't look anything like one to you, please don't make any nasty comments. And uh, I tried to make each feature for an actual phone. For example, I uh, made sure I put a home button, uh, on and off button, a uh, selfie camera, speaker, and some volume buttons. And on the front, I even added a camera. So that's the phone. And let's get started with the tutorial. So to get started by making the screen of the phone, I'm going to get a 1x6 brick and a 1x6 plate. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get two of these 1x4 snot bricks. You can also use eight one by one snot bricks, and in the center of each of the one by sixes, I'm just going to place it on the top. So there should be spaces on each side of the snot bricks. So what I'm going to do to fill in those spaces I'm, is I'm going to get four of these one by one snot bricks. They should look like this. That's a little hard to see. But I'm going to get four of those. Now I don't have four of those, so instead I'm going to get a one by one Technic brick. And I basically just placed a blue connector in the middle to resemble one of these one by one snot bricks. So on each side, facing outward, I'm just going to place each one. So make sure that they're facing to the outside, like this. So you can see that the studs on the side of the snot brick are right here. And the other side should be facing outward. So I'm gonna do that with the same, the other side as well, the other uh, section. So I've got those. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna place each one together. So make sure that the bottoms are uh, together. So. Here I got the bottoms. I'm just going to place it together like that. So it should look like this. I'm just going to place that to the side. And to connect those two, I'm just going to get two 1x4 plates. I'm going to stack them on top of each other. And on top of that, I'm just going to place a 1x4 snot brick. So I'm going to make two of those. So there you go. And now what I'm gonna do, this is a little tricky because it doesn't fit in so good, but I'm going to get the bottom of one of these smaller sections. I'm just gonna place it like this. So you can see that in the camera. Make sure that it fits in nice and tight. Now it may be really challenging to place this in and eventually you'll get it. So when you do it, there might be a little crocodile looking effect because it doesn't fit in so tight because that's just how Legos work sometimes. So I'm going to connect it again with the other one. So now that it should be nice and snug, nothing should be popping out, nothing should be falling off. So it should look like this. Now on one side there should be no studs. It should be clear. You can see that the lamp is even shining off of that brick. Well, that's how it should look because this is going to be the screen. This is going to be the side of the screen where you're actually going to use your finger to use the phone. So this side, this side should uh, have a lot of studs because that's where we're going to be placing the back of the phone to keep this black part unexposed. So we got that section. And just to finish it off, I just want to add one more thing. I'm going to get a 1x10 plate and I'm just going to put, place bricks on the top. So, for example, I'm going to get a 1x8 and a 1x2 brick. And now I'm just going to place it on the side to make your phone wider, the phone screen wider. So it should look like that. And I'm going to place that off to the side. Now let's move on. So to make the bottom of the phone where the head jack is going to be, I'm going to get a 1x8 plate. And on the top to each side, I'm going to place two of these 1x1 plates. 
And one space away from that, we're going to place another two one by one plates. So there should be a one by two space in the middle. And where that is, I'm going to get a one by one snot brick and a one by one brick. So I'm going to place my snot brick to the left and my brick to the right. So it should look like that. And now I'm going to get basically just two of these one by one bricks and I'm going to place them in the gaps here between the two one by one plates. And now I'm going to get two of these one by one spot bricks and I'm going to place them on the back. So make sure they're facing to the back. So there should be one stud facing this way and two studs facing that way. Um, please mind the eye because <laughs> I most of my one by one bricks have eyes on them. I don't know why. So actually can fix that. I'm just going to face it so that you can't see that. So yeah. So that's how you do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two of these slope elements. I don't know what these are called, so I just like to call them slope elements. And I'm just going to place them on each side to make our phone look like it has corners. And also makes the phone look very realistic. So I'm going to do that. And on top, there should be a gap of 1x2 space in there. I'm going to place my 1x2 plate. And on top, to finish it off, we're going to get a 1x6 tile. And to make the actual home button, I'm going to get a 2x2 two two plate that's circular. I'm just going to place it, connect it to the stud so it should look like this. And on the back, I'm going to place a 1x6 plate. I'm just going to place it evenly on top of the studs to the side. So this should be the back of the phone. This should be the front. So it should go upside down like this. And now I'm just going to connect it to the bottom. So to make the top of the phone where the speaker is going to be and the selfie camera, I'm going to get a 1x6 plate. And in the very middle, I'm going to place a 1x2 black plate for the speaker. And one space away from that to the left, I'm going to place a one by one plate to resemble the selfie camera. And in the middle of those two plates, I'm going to get a one by one white plate. And to the right, I'm going to place a one by two plate. On top of that, I'm going to place a one by six plate. So it should look like this. And now to each of the sides to make the, the corners of the phone look smooth, I'm going to get two of these slope elements, like what we did at the bottom, and I'm just going to place them on each side. And in the middle, I'm going to place a 1x4 plate. And on top of that, I'm going to place a 1x4 tile to the left and a one by one jumper plate to the right. So the jumper plate resembles the headphone jack or just some other button. So that's the, the top of the camera. So now I'm going to get my phone and I'm just gonna place it on the top like this. And when you do that, make sure that the selfie button is facing to the left because that's how most phones are. Well, pretty much all phones. So now I'm going to do to finish off the sides of the phone of the screen is I'm going to get a 1x6 plate, place it to the right. And now on top of that, I'm going to place a 1x2 tile, then a 1x1 tile, then a 1x1 plate. So it should look like that. Now this one by one plate is supposed to resemble the on and off button for your phone. So to make the other side, I'm going to get another one by six tile. Oops. And after that, I'm going to place 
a 1 by 2 tile, then two 1 by 1 plates. Or to make it simple, you can also use a 1 by 2 plate. So there you have your phone. Now to just finish it off, the back looks really ugly. So to uh, put a back to that so you can't see the screen, is I'm just going to get a 6x8 plate, place it there, and on top of that, I'm going to get another 6x8 plate. And now, to make the last of the phone, I'm going to get a 1x6 plate, place it on the top, and to connect it with the assembly, I'm going to get one of these black 2x2 two two circular tiles, I'm just going to place it there to resemble the phone camera. So. There you have your awesome looking phone. And you can actually trick people um, into thinking that it's a real phone. I actually have done it to a lot of people actually. And it's actually kind of funny uh, to see some people's reactions when they find out that it's Lego. So uh, if you ever do make a Lego phone, try it out, see what people think. So. That was a little secret on how to make a Lego iPhone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if necessary. And thanks for watching.